I can't reply with video to the comment right now for some reason, but let's talk about spiders and electric fields and how specifically they use the electric fields to fly. So Earth has an electric field that is generated by the movement of positive and negative particles through the atmosphere. Now, it's not actually that uncommon for different types of animals to be able to sense and use Earth's electric fields in a thing called electroreception. Humans can't do this, we cannot sense Earth's electric fields, so it sounds kind of like a made-up sci-fi superpower, but again, it's not actually that uncommon. Many types of fish can sense electricity, such as sharks and rays. Types of birds use it, especially to navigate, such as homing pigeons and migratory birds to be able to find their way, and even sometimes mammals like echidnas and bats use it, so it's really not that uncommon or unheard of for things like spiders and other invertebrates to use it as well. Some species of spiders in specific use this to do a behavior called ballooning. Now, I made a whole video prior about ballooning itself, so let's talk about how they actually use the electric fields. Now, previously it was thought that ballooning was done entirely via the wind, however, more recent studies confirm that they do actually, in fact, use electrical currents in the atmosphere. One of the main basic principles in physics and chemistry and science in general is that opposites attract and like repels like. That is the very basic principle of how electricity works, and so the negatively charged spider silk is sent up into the positively charged atmosphere. Meanwhile, the surface of the earth that the spider is standing on, be that the ground, be that a leaf or a stick, is negative, just like the spider silk, so the negative charges of the silk and the leaf kind of repel each other away, while simultaneously the positive charged particles in the atmosphere is attracting the silk. That provides enough of an upward kind of lift to get the spider airborne. Now, since spiders can sense the electric fields, they can choose kind of when and where to take off, and somewhat precisely when and where to land. Now, again, there are other factors that affect this. Like I said before, they do use wind. Wind is a factor in ballooning. It's not purely due to the electric fields. So the spider's landing and taking off does have some factors introduced by weather and temperature and all of that. But essentially, this is how spiders do use Earth's electric fields in order to fly to some degree.